Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's episode. And before we start, I wish you all a very nice Guo Qingjie and a nice few days in China or maybe outside China, depends on where you are, to celebrate with your friends and family or just to spend a few nice days or maybe go on a short travel. And now let's dive into the topic. This week's video is going to be about Lu Xun again and to be precise about his one short story out of this um, yeah, Duan Pian Xiao Shuo Ji. So Xiao Shuo Ji means like short story collection. And inside this book, Nahan, here this call to arms, there are 14 short stories and a Tzu Su. So Tzu Su is like a short uh, preface of the author. And yes, this one will be about today. We will look at the very famous R.Q. Zheng Tuan. So about the true, true story about A.Q. Who is A.Q.? Well, we will find out in this video. First of all, yeah, this book here was published in 1921, I think, or it was written in 1921. And yeah, it's, a, it's inside this book here. And from Lu Xun, I also got like another um, short story, Kuang Ren Ruji. And I also bought this uh, Chao Hua Si Shi once uh, when I was in China, but I did quit this year before. And yeah, this Na Han. So, so th this one here is uh, actually a good edition and I bought it on Amazon. And because it has such, it's like quite huge here. And uh, there's some, the Tzu Su, so the introduction uh, of, of the author was interesting. And on each uh, short story, there's like many descriptions of uh, difficult words or phrases, which were used like 100 years ago, which uh, Lu Xun used and which explains some of the culture and the background. This was helpful as well. And yeah, now uh, it this book uh, ranks. Uh, also, I checked it on Doban again. It's ranked uh, place 14th under the um, Doban Zhongguo Xiaoshuo. And it um, this one short story, AQ Zhongchuan has around 21,000 characters and it's around uh, 50 pages long, so not too long. It was um, good to read and interesting to read. It was very different from uh, books I've read so far because it was so bold and quite of um, yeah um, tough and to to read. And but now first let's go to the Tzu to the author's preface. It tells us a little bit about his uh, he, about his view on society, about his uh, I think it was six to seven years in Japan where he first studied medicine. Lucian, but then became not lost his interest in medicine because he actually wanted to um, talk about uh, uh, when sure and uh, when is so um, written culture or like uh, written text and he, he liked the the art of uh, yeah um, of, of writing and he, he saw this need for a revolution in, in in the writings in China and this is why he then also later um, participated hugely to in the Wen Yi Yundong or the I think it was also called the the Bai Hua Yundong, um, and yes, he he we also know about that he in uh, he first found the magazine. Um, it was called the Xin De Shangmin or Xingming, but which is not to confuse with the Xin Qingnian which is a newspaper then by Cheng Du Xiu, which was like uh, also very important, where then Lucien also contributed a bit, but he was not the founder of it, I, I think. And yeah, but now to to the contents, to the Neirong of the RQ Zheng Tuan. So AQ, he doesn't even have a real name. Um, so everyone just uh, talks to him as AQ. And... Uh, people tell him like Nisuan uh, Shamadongsi, so so what are you? You're like an animal, and he also says to himself, uh, um, I quote again, short city Zhongzhe. So he says he himself is uh, an insect, and uh, on his face he has uh, some kind of this um, light chuang bar, some kind of uh, pox. I don't know what what this exactly is. Um, and the people in the small village in the Wei Zhuang, uh, these people make love to make fun about him, and this leads to him that he's also hitting himself on the head, and he often also engages in, f in some kind of fighting in the village, and 
he's also very unhappy with the society inside this village and only everyone inside this village they respect one guy he is called the Zhao Taiye so he is a very wealthy and mighty person um, but he is against revolution and the thing what makes AQ so unhappy as well and so so disgusted with himself is that he basically wants some kind of revolution but also doesn't know what he wants exactly and he's also lazy and he doesn't do much and yeah he is um, a person who is trying to find work on the short term but then also doesn't find work so easily and then becomes hungry and then starts to steal things and also his behavior towards women is quite bad um, as he wants like uh, just um, grabs and harasses like a, an old uh, uh, I'm not sure if he's old and old uh, or young um, nun and there's this one one uh, section which I think was quite uh, which escalated quickly it's uh, this one where it's like uh, he's in a in a at a, fr at a friend's place and there's a, a a girl I think not sure if uh, if she's a slave but she's just working for them and doing the dishes and they, they start just chit-chatting and then later he suddenly says Woche ni kunju, woche ni kunju, AQ um, hu ran tiang shang tu, uh, so he's just suddenly asking her if she wants to uh, sleep with him uh, or that she should sleep with him but then she runs out and they have like uh, uh, yeah the big uh, run now things going on there and yes then this is his life and nothing changes much and then there's still so you you must know this is a place in the 1910s so just after the Sinhai Geming after the revolution uh, which uh, quit or which which led uh, the Qing dynasty to an end and uh, but still in the, in the in the countryside there in this village the people were not really happy with it or not satisfied um, but still there was not enough change to to go on and uh, and he yes he also didn't know what what he wanted and in the end uh, AQ is uh, getting murdered as as well and this is then the short story but it was a really interesting uh, read because it was so so bold and yeah quite straightforward and it uh, criticizes a bit maybe the the stage of the people back then that they didn't were brave enough to do a revolution faster and were just uh, accepting the status quo i think and i think i will enjoy a few more short stories out of this book here and maybe have a look in to this uh, short stories as well and i hope you liked this short introduction and maybe um, yes, I can just recommend to have a look at this uh, AQ Zhengtuan. Goodbye.